वेलकम टू रा ऑनलाइन टूडे टॉपिक इज सी पी आर इन प्रेगनेंसी सो कार्डियो पलमरी रिससिटेशन इन प्रेगनेंसी वी शुड बी अवेयर फॉर द फिजोलॉजिकल चेंजेस इन प्रेगनेंसी विच में प्री डिस्पोज टू एक्यूट कार्डियो वैस्कुलर कोलैप्स वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड द रिस्क फैक्टर्स फॉर कार्डियो वैस्कुलर कोलैप्स एंड वी शुड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर कॉलिंग फॉर अ कोड प्रोटेक्ट द वलनरेबल एयरवेज सप्लाई ऑक्सीजन टू द पेशेंट टिल्ट द पेशेंट टू रिमूव द कंप्रेशन ऑफ द ग्रेविड यूट्रस ऑन द इन्फीरियर वेनेकावर एंड ऑप्टेन आई वी एक्सेस Avoid the femoral and saphenous veins. Follow the current uh, ACLS recommendations and peripartum cesarean section should be done within five minutes of maternal cardiac arrest if the fetus is more than twenty weeks to improve the chances of maternal resuscitation. So initial interventions include C A B. C is circulation. So place two large bore IV cannulas. Initiate the IV fluids. and order for blood products a is for airway turn the patient on her side ensure the airway is patent and consider early intubation if she is not breathing breathing ensure the patient is breathing if not start doing the chest compressions and cardio pulse pulmonary resuscitation while preparing for intubation and ventilation subsequently send the following tests complete blood count lft rft coagulation profile ecg arterial blood gas in icu chest x ray toxicology screening needs to be done consider the differential diagnosis and manage accordingly continue the aggressive cardiopulmonary resuscitation and include early intervention and give the patient left lateral tilt to minimize the compression of gravid uterus on the aorta transfer the patient to icu confirm the patient's gestational age and fetal well being search for an underlying cause of this cardio collapse in pregnancy so if the patient is less than 24 weeks continue the aggressive cpr and consider emptying the uterus if 5 to 10 minutes of cpr do not fail to do not uh, help in uh, resuscitating the patient and once a patient is stable we can shift the patient to icu and continue to search now if the patient is more than 24 weeks empty the uterus within 5 to 10 minutes and if the pediatrician is present we have to call for help for the pediatrician and continue the cpr and transfer the patient to icu and continue the search for an underlying cause cardiovascular collapse can occur in pregnant women as it can happen in non pregnant women and obstetricians should be able to anticipate diagnose and manage cardiac arrest in pregnancy but incidence is less in 1 to 20000 pregnancy but it